Good morning, class fifth. How are you all? Take out your English book, Smart English Course Book. Take out your English book, English Literature Notebook, your blue pen, your black pen, your scale, your pencil, and a sketch pen if you have. Take out all these items and your notebook as well. Children, we were studying this chapter, chapter number 2, page number 11, Whales, the Largest Mammals. We have completed the reading of the chapter and we have also done the focus words. I hope you all have completed. Now, take out page number 13 in your book. Everyone take out page number 13 in your book. We will solve these pages in the book itself. Today you will do with me. Take out your pencil. Yes. Open your books and read with me. Part A. Read the sentences given below and mark them as T for true and F for false. You have to read these sentences and state whether it is true or it is false. Now I'm reading the first one. Keep your finger on your book. Read the first sentence. Whales live in lakes and ponds. Whales kaha rehti hai? Lakes and ponds mein? No. Whales kaha rehti hai? Ocean and seas mein. So whales do not live in lakes and ponds. This is false. Means F. Write down. Very good. Write down question. Uh, Read question number two. Whales are mammals. Mammals kaun hote hai? Who give birth to young ones. Or baki animals kya karte Kafi animals. They give birth to young ones by laying eggs. But mammals kya hote hai? Mammals who animals hote hai? Jo young ones ko kaise birth dete hai? Matab direct baby hote hai unka. Unke uh, wo eggs lay ni karte hai. Directly babies ko birth dete hai. To whale bhi direct babies ko birth dete hai. Isle whale kya hote hai? Mammal. So this is true. Number three. Whales may have lived on land a long, long time ago. Humne padha tha na ki whales ke baare mein ye research huye ki wo land pe rehti hongi aur wo swimmer se achhi runners rahi hongi. So this is true. Now, do this. Read question number four. The backbone of a whale is built for running, not for swimming. Read number five. The whale is not a sea mammal. You have to search this. You have to read the chapter and do it yourself. Agar aapko nahi aega, you can WhatsApp me. This is your homework children. As I have told you, you will do the classwork along with me and you will do homework when the video is over. Okay? Come to page number 14. B part. Fill in the blanks with correct words and make sentences. You have to complete this sentence. Okay? With the correct word. First one I am reading out. See in your books. A whale will hit a ship with its tail if it feels its babies are in. A whale a ship ko apni tail se kab hit karti jab usse lagta hai baby kya hai khatre mein. Yani are in danger. Write down D-A-N-G-E-R. Danger. D-A-N-G-E-R. Danger. Write with a pencil. Number two. Whales use their lungs to dash in air. I have told you that whales don't breathe in air. Who does breathe in air? Lungs. Se. So, to breathe in air. B-R-E-A-T-H-E. Breathe. Write down. Number three. Whales have blow holes on the top of their... 
वेल कैसे सांस लेती है उसके हेड के ऊपर ब्लो होल्स होते हैं सरफेस ऑफ द ओशन पे आके वो बाहर से हवा लेती है फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ देयर हेड एच ई ए डी हेड राइट डाउन नेक्स्ट सम वेल्स कैन होल्ड देयर ब्रेथ फॉर एज लॉन्ग एज कुछ वेल्स हमने यहां पढ़ा था अपनी जो ब्रेथ है वो कितनी देर तक होल्ड कर सकती है फॉर अप टू नाइन्टी मिनट्स नाइन्टी मिनट्स तक वो अपनी ब्रेथ को कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं और फिर दोबारा सरफेस पे आते हैं ब्रेथ लेने के लिए फॉर एज लॉन्ग एज नाइन्टी मिनट्स राइट डाउन फिफ्थ वन इफ वेल्स फेल कंप्लीटली स्लीप दे वो डैश एंड डाई अगर वेल पूरी तरीके से सो गई तो क्या होगा वो ऊपर सांस लेने के लिए नहीं आ पाएगी तो वो क्या करेंगी वो क्या हो जाएगा उनके साथ दे वुड डैश एंड डाई दिस यू विल डू योर सेल्फ दिस इज योर होमवर्क ओके आपको पता है ना क्या होगा आपको खुद देखना है रीड करो चैप्टर खुद पता चलेगा अगर नहीं आएगा यू कैन आस्क मी कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सी This also we will do in the book only. Which whale is the largest animal on earth? कौन सी वेल अर्थ का सबसे बड़ा एनिमल है इट्स ब्लू वेल बी एल यू ई ब्लू डब्ल्यू एच ए एल ई वेल ब्लू वेल डू ऑल वेल्स हैव ब्लू वन ब्लू होल जो ब्लो होल होते हैं उनके हेड पे किस लिए सांस लेने के लिए क्या सब वेल के पास एक ही होता है नो सम वेल्स हैव टू ब्लो होल्स हमने पढ़ा था ना यहाँ पे दे हैव अ ब्लो होल इन द टॉप ऑफ देयर हेड एंड इन दिस पैराग्राफ वी हैड रेड दैट सम सम ऑफ द वेल्स हैव टू ब्लो होल्स आल्सो वन साइड ऑन ईच साइड सम वेल्स हैव टू ब्लो होल्स नेक्स्ट टू ईच अदर एंड अदर्स हैव ओनली वन So this is no. Do all whales have one blow hole? No. Some have two blow holes. Where do they have blow holes? On the top of their head. Write it down with me. Very good. नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ फास्ट कैन वेल्स स्विम वेल्स कितनी फास्ट स्विम कर सकती है दे कैन स्विम अप टू थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी सेवन किलोमीटर्स इन एन आर वन आर में थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी सेवन किलोमीटर्स तक वो स्विम कर सकती है राइट इट डाउन नेक्स्ट वट डू वेल्स ईट वेल्स क्या खाती है मैंने आपको बताया था वेल्स को ज्यादा ह्यूमन बींग्स खाना पसंद नहीं होते हैं वो खुद को प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए खा जाती है उनको लेकिन वेल्स खाती क्या है वट इज ए फूड फॉर दिस यू हैव टू डू योर सेल्फ रीड द चैप्टर यूल फाइंड आउट द आंसर एंड देन यू हैव टू राइट इट एंड सेंड इट टू मी हाउ डू यू हैव टू डू दिस वर्क फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल सी द वीडियो and while watching the video you have to do your class work what is your class work which i am doing this is your class work and what are, whatever i am telling you to do at your home is your homework as soon as the video is completed if you want to repeat the video you have missed some point so you can just uh, go through the video once again and you can complete your class work and once the video is over then you have to do your homework and then you will switch to your another subject video all right after doing this work children take out your english literature notebook take out your notebook i am using this page as your notebook but you have to do in your fair notebook write down date on the top then write down day write down the name of the chapter chapter this is chapter number Two. Write with me. Then write down whales. The largest 
mammals <clears throat> we will do word meanings of the chapter write down word and on the other side write down meaning draw a line with the scale children use sketch pen if you have it makes your work look really neat and clean it makes it makes look your notebook beautiful decorated and tidy write down first word with the black pen the word is mammal m a m m a l mammal write down the meaning with the blue pen write down a warm w a r m warm blooded b l o o d e d blooded animal which gives b i r t h birth to babies and feed them their own milk जो कि मैंने आपको मैमल का मतलब बताया था ओके राइट ऑन द सेकेंड वर्ड चिल्ड्रेन अलॉन्ग विद मी राइट द सेकेंड वर्ड विद ब्लैक पेन वॉर्म ब्लडेड हेर एव रिटर्न मैमल इज अ वॉर्म ब्लडेड एनिमल सो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ वॉर्म ब्लडेड वॉर्म ब्लडेड का मतलब क्या होता है सो राइट डाउन एनिमल्स We are also warm blooded. Do you know? हम भी warm blooded होते हैं So animals that have a body temperature T E M P E R A T U R E that doesn't change. हमारा body temperature change नहीं होता ना देखो हमारा body temperature same रहता है लेकिन हमारे आस पास का जो temperature है वो चेंज होते रहता है इसलिए हमें अपने क्लोथ टेम्परेचर के अकॉर्डिंग चेंज करने पड़ते हैं सो द एनिमल्स हुज बॉडी टेम्परेचर डू नॉट चेंज दोज आर नोन एज वॉर्म ब्लडेड रेड ऑन थर्ड वन क्रिल क्रिल क्या है क्रिल वो फूड है जो वेल्स खाती है सो रेड ऑन टाइनी टी आई एन वाई यू कैन ऑल्सो कॉल इट टिनी बोथ द प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ टी आई एन वाई इज करेक्ट वेदर इट इज टिनी और टाइनी टाइनी shrimp like creatures found in sea <clears throat> write down next word children number 4 plankton plankton bhi wahi and wahi food hai kiska whale ka chote chote creatures jo sea mein paaye jaate hain jise whales khati hai write down i hope you all can see write down with me very small creatures found in water write it down children i am repeating it for you The first word is mammal, which means it is a warm-blooded animal, which gives birth to babies and feed them their own milk. Then, what is warm-blooded? Those are animals that have a body temperature that doesn't change. Then, krill, tiny shrimp-like creatures found in sea. Then, plankton, very small creatures found in water. All right. So, children, this is your class work. you have to do it along with me i am not sharing a picture with you because you have to do it along with the video you don't have to postpone your work and look at the picture and do, then do your work do along with me if you miss some point 
then you have to repeat the video but you'll do it along with me as soon as your classwork is completed you have to read the chapter once again it will help in improving your reading your pronunciation your vocabulary and then you will do the remaining parts of a part b part and c part and you have to send it to me children okay you will also read the word meanings once again bye bye take care